the 2022 Taro V3s are here. This is the amazing classic black. Pretty standard. The differences between the 2020 and the 2022 Taros, just the difference in uh, difference in horsepower. Whereas this one would give you about uh, 20.5. The previous one was giving you 19.5, so a little bit more power. And uh, they have also improved on the on the quality of the colors. This is super quality, yeah? So a lot of you guys have been asking me questions on the differences between the TFT and the normal dash display. This is the matte black. I'm gonna get to that in a short while. This is the matte black, the virus. Unfortunately, there's only one of it left. This one, as you can see, is already sold. The GP1250. And then we have the granite gray. Bit of mix of white with gray and black we've done a video of this before one of our first videos of the v3 so to get to your question you guys have been asking what the differences are between the tft and the standard display so i'll show you guys the standard display this standard display is mimicked from the yamaha r6 a little bit of similarities it's pretty standard it has a it has a semi uh, analog display with a digital interface on the side uh, standard odometer with a gear uh, indicator this can be switched up to from kilometers per hour to to miles um, this is what you call the indication panel the annunciator panel this is the new neutral if you put the bike on neutral if you put the bike on neutral it would indicate and it would show you right there yeah then you put gear one it would show you gear two right there so six speed gear this is the fuel gauge right under here I'm not sure if you can see it has like a protective screen on top right there well, it's pretty amazing it's pretty standard what i like about this is that um it's pretty rigid hard to get spoiled would last you quite a while long um pretty easy to maintain and it's pretty standard the yamaha r6 if you see the 2014 uh 20 actually 2008 all the way to 2015 they use this similar display it's pretty cool kind of like it so yeah the granite gray comes in the standard display now let's talk about the tft screen right here that's the tft screen it's quite big i'd say it's the size of an maybe an iphone pro max let's put it on beautiful 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 well, the features that this has is that it has uh, the auto brightness technology where if we go into the dark, it will automatically switch up to a black theme. And now we're in the light, so it has like a white theme. Um, you can also change the background or the design of the display that you'd want. There's this one and then there's this one. Um, most people like this. I like this because it looks pretty more it looks more clear more high-tech well the, the gear indication is on the right side this is the rpm the rpm gauge it's all digital this shows you battery voltage right on the on the home display it has a couple of displays interfaces we're gonna we're gonna look at that in a bit this is the, the coolant the oil coolant temperature and then this is the fuel gauge it's pretty amazing uh, that you have all that information in uh, one gadget pretty much looks like a phone well let's say the disadvantages of this heavy rain I haven't seen anyone complaining but uh, with a display like this I wouldn't want to ride on in heavy rain I wouldn't want to ride in heavy rain then of course you know dust uh, living in Kenya dust and the matope and all that you'd want to always be cleaning this uh, display 
it's beautiful but uh, it comes with a bit of responsibility you have to take care of it huh? uh, we have replacements are re replacing this whole unit in case yours gets spoiled is about 25k so it's quite uh, deep into the pocket so I'd advise you guys to maintain yours yeah so let's see what it has that is called the ECU data that's a diagnostic interface uh, if you, this bike has an ECU an engine control unit uh, this is a computer that controls all electrics on this bike so in case you have a problem uh, it would show you right on this display uh, you know like battery problems pressure problems engine problems oil oil maybe oil too low maybe your service guy didn't put enough oil for you and such things it would show you right here it has uh, nine pages that's four five all of it here would show you zero of course because there's no problem uh, on it low idle is showing you five at 12 degrees it's pretty cool um, yeah so the drive 2500 to 50 rpm 2500 plus 50 50 rpm is the normal drive to test the ECU normal temperature 80 to 96 high idle temperature is 80 to 96 low idle and high idle 80 to 96 drive 80 to 96 most of this stuff how you'd really tell if there's a if there's an issue when you're going through the ECU data over here and you connect the computer uh, you'd see faults like though you'd see on German cars like the Mercedes the BMW you'd see faults just pop up you don't really have to know everything that's over here but uh, in case of a problem it would it would notify you that there's a problem um, yeah so apart from that uh, let's check out the second page this is the now the ECU failure description now in case you have a problem then it would it would list it down over here it would list it down here then you'd, you'd be able to see from top to down um, if, if, if there's anything right now there's nothing the bike is still new no service that has been done to it yet this is the trip set of course the hour adjusting you'd set your hours to minutes um, you'd, you'd click this and then you'd be able to set this, uh, the, the correct time. I don't want to set this because this is a new bike. I'd like the new owner to, to have the pleasure of, of, I'd like the new owner to have the pleasure of doing it themselves. Uh, as you can see, if you don't like access it, after a while it goes back to the home page. So we'll just go back to the page in a sec. Yeah, ECU failure description already through that. Uh, settings the hour adjust distance is um, in kilometers you can change that to miles per hour through here language is English of course it has 18 languages and uh, ABS this bike doesn't have ABS but it has CBS it says ABS on the database but uh, it has CBS CBS is combined braking system in case your CBS has a has an issue uh, it'll it'll show you on the on the TFT so you'd get all that for the TFT for difference of only only 20k to that. Well, that is selling at a price of uh, right now discounted to 355. You'd be getting this at 375 just because of the display. Honestly, not much difference. Just a lot of gadgets here and there. Um, just the TFT is what makes this one more expensive than this one. But uh, if you're not the sort of person who likes Madoido and those things. You can just go for the pretty standard one, I like it too. Um, just the same bike, only difference is just the display. Yeah, so these are the 2022s. There's this classic black, the granite grey and the matte black among other colours. I have to tell you guys that the TFT only comes in this colour. It doesn't come in any other colour. This one is just the standard, standard display. So yeah, visit us, we have reduced our prices on the standard Taro GP V3 bike. Uh, we have pretty new cool new features that I haven't talked about um, Visit us at Maruti Heights at Carnival right opposite Tamarine Tree Hotel and uh, Yeah, you don't have to buy the bike you can come, you know uh, check them out, you know uh, and hope for the future save up and uh, yeah uh, join the family so Thank you for watching the video. I'll be posting about another video about Some of the best beginner bikes you can choose in Kenya to ride
uh, if you're a complete beginner. I have to tell you guys that 90% of all tarot owners, 90% of people who purchased, have never ridden before. So these are like one of the perfect beginner bikes you'd ever want to purchase. It has a nice warranty, parts are available, easy to ride, looks like a beast. I think it's the most beautiful looking sport bike in town right now and it's just amazing, yeah. So hit us up, hit the subscribe and like button on our page and uh, we'll be availing new content soon enough. Have a lovely day. Thank you.